latest on celebrity chef Paula Dean, her career in ruins. Following her admission, she had used a racial slur. So many sponsors dropping her now, and she has agreed to step away from her work at QVC. ABC's Steve Osinsami has the story. Please forgive me for the mistakes that I've made. Paula Dean trying to put out the fire, threatening to burn down her nearly $16 million business empire. But it keeps burning. This is not going to take long to fry up. This morning, QVC is her latest partner to walk away. Dean making the announcement herself in an apology to customers. As you know, I have some important things to work on right now, both personally and professionally. And so we've agreed that it's best for me to step back from QVC and focus on setting things right. What went wrong happened during her deposition for a lawsuit where she admitted to using racist language, leading Walmart, Smithfield Foods, Caesars Casinos, and the Food Network to end their deals. Three-fourths of a cup of heavy cream. Heavy. Target, who sells her cookbooks, pots, and pans, said goodbye on Thursday, and so did Home Depot. When my doctor told me I had type 2 diabetes, I was devastated. Dean endured a ton of bad press in January 2012 when she announced she had diabetes. It was the same day the self-professed queen of Southern cooking became a paid spokesperson for a company that makes a drug to fight the disease. I'm sharing my story hoping to show people that you don't have to let diabetes stand in the way of enjoying your life. Now Novo Nordisk, that drug maker, is cutting ties too. Uh, for Good to Morning America, together. Steve Osinsami, ABC News, Atlanta.